When you see this, uh, after you've done an implant several weeks later, it's extremely frustrating and you wonder what happened. Um, and at the time of implant, you tugged on the leads and they seemed to do just fine. Uh, but now you have this situation uh, where the leads are pulled back. To pass the tug test at the time of implant, the muscle must be compressed by the suture against the suture sleeve, which results in necrosis of the muscle. Um, and why that's important uh, is that as the muscle uh, turns to scar tissue, it shrinks. And so that uh, you end up with a suture sleeve um, that is loose. Uh, now this doesn't often make a difference, but in some patients, especially if they fiddle with their pacemaker a little bit or other circumstances, uh, then you have a loose suture sleeve uh, and the lead can slide in and out. So how do you stop this from happening? There's a process called tying to the knot. And rather than your, rather than tying directly to the muscle, you make your first uh, bite into the muscle and then you tie the knot here. Um, and there's two things. One is the knot doesn't need to be uh, tight to compress the suture sleeve. It just has to be tight enough uh, that you have a nice uh, tight knot in the muscle. And then step two uh, is to then wrap the suture around the suture sleeve. And to pass the tug test with this approach, the suture is tightened not against the muscle, but against this knot. Um, and um, that there's less likely uh, for the muscle to go undergo necrosis. However, even if it does undergo necrosis, and turn to fibrous tissue, it really doesn't matter. So here we've spec we've had a circumstance where the muscle turned to fibrous tissue, it shrunk, and now it's a little bit a little bit loose in here, but the suture sleeve, which is tied directly to the knot, is still tight on the suit on the on the uh, lead, uh, and it's not going to pull loose. So this may, this may move a couple of millimeters back and forth, but it remains tight here. So I hope you find this useful. I know it's a lot of places that are trained uh, to tra tie directly to the muscle, but I think uh, that if you do that, this, this will eventually happen to you, uh, and the way to prevent it is to tie to the knot. Thank you for your interest.